Hey everybody, I wanted to do a quick one on the muscles that are involved in the push-up. Um, easy, big ones that we can get out of the way. The pecs, obviously, right? So those get really tired. When I do a lot of push-ups, they help move the arm so that the whole body comes up. Um, other big one that really extends the entire arm or the entire body up uh, is the triceps. All three of those heads of that beautiful, beautiful muscle on the back side of the arm. Um, other major players, it's still kind of a synergist, but it's still kind of a major player, is the abdominal muscle. So all of them. The rectus abdominis, even, even though I badmouth it a little bit, it's still really important in getting a good position here. Uh, we have the internal external obliques and the transversus abdominis that are more your lateral abs that sort tend to be harder to find and I tend to spend more time cueing them. Those are kind of the, the biggest players. Now, what are the, the ones that I think should be on your mind? Well, big one in the shoulder is the serratus anterior. It's this muscle in your armpit. This is a synergist for a lot of different movements. It's the reason that we can reach our arms overhead as they, or as we lift an arm up. This muscle here, the serratus anterior, connects to the rib cage and the scapula, and it swings the scapula kind of outward and upward, and it allows my arm to reach up overhead. That lets me, you know, grab pots and pans from the top shelf, even though I kind of hope you're not putting a whole pot on the top shelf. That's probably not the best design. So serratus anterior is really good. I gotta make sure that I cue that at the top of the push up as I push away. I'm pushing my whole body away, right? That helps me initiate with a stable scap rather than just kind of bench pressing my body away. Uh, that's a big one. Talked about the abs. Um, if I cue the exhale, I get some of the deeper ab muscles a little bit more. Uh, that transversus abdominis we talked about. It's really important in timing for stability of the uh, low back. If it turn it, it, so spoiler alert, if you're going to read some of the research that Paul Hodges has done, he has identified that these muscles, even, even tiny muscles in your spine, like the multifidi, they turn on in anticipation of movement. So they actually stabilize you before you move. It's really cool. And if I position them to where they can turn on more easily, then it's gonna generally help me more. Oh yeah, the other one that I wanted to mention, uh, is the bicep actually. So the bicep is involved in the push-up. Seems weird, right? Because I'm not curling my arms. I'm not, uh, you know, it's not like a bicep curl. I'm pushing the, my arms away. The trick here is that the bicep crosses the shoulder and so it acts at the shoulder and it brings my shoulder from here to here. Okay, and that is the bottom of the push-up. So it kind of works with the pec in that way, but it also works with the tricep in that way. It's very similar to how the quads and the hamstrings work when I do a squat, right? I stand up out of my squat, my quads straighten my knee, but my hamstring straightens my hip, okay? In a push-up, the tricep straightens my elbow and the bicep straightens my shoulder. So those are the big ones. Uh, let's see if I can name them all. Pec major, a little bit of pec minor. Uh, we got biceps, we got triceps, we got, oh, shoulder muscles, especially front of the shoulder. Those are big ones involved. And uh, the abs and, you know, all sorts of little stuff. So I hope you found that helpful or at least intriguing. And stay tuned for the next video.